What happens when you're trying to overcome your addiction, but you feel the strong urge to relapse? This is a moment where we often feel helpless. And the question is, what should I do? I'm feeling this strong urge, what now? So let's break this down so you can learn exactly what you can do and what the consequences are. Because really, when the urge hits you, you have exactly three options. One, you can relapse. Two, you can do something to dissipate the urge. Or three, you can do something to go through the urge. So let's look at all of these. Option number one, you relapse. Now, this is obviously not a great choice because you already know what happens. This has probably happened to you many times. It's a lot like scratching an itch where it gives you temporary relief, but then afterwards it itches even more and you have to scratch again and it basically never stops. This is the problem with giving into the urge. I mean, not only do you probably feel bad afterwards, after you've relapsed, but also you're continuing the cycle of addiction. So the negative effects the addiction has on you will keep going in your life and you've not made progress in overcoming the addiction. That doesn't feel good either. But also the problem is that the addiction is a hunger that can never be satiated. So even though in the moment it feels I have this desire, I have this urge, and if I give in, if I relapse, I'll feel better. It's so temporary and really afterwards, you're even hungrier, you want even more. So clearly, this is not a good choice and it's not really a solution. So what is the second option? You can do something to dissipate the urge. To explain this, let's take a step back and think about what is happening in this moment when you're feeling the urge. This is something happening inside your body. It's your nervous system, your mind, your hormones are creating a response in your body that gives you the feelings you're currently feeling when you're having an urge. And the feelings you feel, the way it is like to be in your body in that moment is a lot like being stressed, being anxious, being like nervous. You have all this activation energy in your whole system that feels like you have to do something about it. Now, the good news is you do have some control over your nervous system and how your body responds. And you can do things to dissipate that energy other than relapsing. So for example, this is if you decide to go for a run instead. You go for a run when you feel the urge to relapse and the running takes a lot of your energy and it takes your mind off of things and it gives you that activation, like you're using your body's energy, but you're using it to propel yourself, you're using it to run. And then also because you're ramping up your whole system through running, once you're done, everything calms down again. So that's an example of how to essentially take that energy, use it for something else until it dissipates. And after a run, the urge will probably be gone. The problem with physical activity like this is that maybe you come home after the run, you start to relax, but then, you know, half an hour later, the urge hits again. And then what, you go for another run and you end up running all day. Or also maybe you're in the middle of work or you're somewhere where you can't just go for a run spontaneously. But there are other things you can do. And the most effective thing you can do is using your breath to regulate your nervous system. There are highly effective breathwork techniques that very quickly change the state of your nervous system and can put you from that state of, oh my God, I have to do something into a calm, relaxed state again. You can make this even more powerful by combining it with visualization exercises and making a ritual out of it. And if you want to learn exactly how to do that, check the first link in the description. It goes to my free guided de-stress ritual that you can use whenever you feel the urge. So check out that link. You can sign up there and try the exercise right away. So that's option number two. You change the state of your nervous system. You dissipate that energy. That is much, much better. However, there's still a problem. You're still not really doing anything to address whatever the underlying issues are that made you an addict in the first place. I'm a big believer in Gabor Mate's work and philosophy on addiction. And I agree with his statement that every addiction is a coping mechanism and there's always some kind of an emotional pain underlying it. It could be something trauma related. It could be something from your childhood. It could be anything. But as long as you are only getting rid of the urges as they come up, you're not addressing that true core reason for why you have an addiction in the first place. And so you might be doing these dissipation exercises for years and years without ever making a lot of progress. And that brings us to the third option. You can do something to move through the urge. So if you're wondering, okay, if there's underlying emotional issues or trauma or whatever that made me an addict, like how can I find out what those issues are and what do I do about it? And the answer to both of those questions is you basically sit and wait. 
when the urge to relapse hits you, that is really that underlying issue going, oh, here's the emotional thing I don't want to deal with. Here's the thoughts I don't want to think quickly. Let's do something else. Let's go for the addiction. That's a great way to get my mind off of this underlying thing. So if you don't give in to the urge and you also don't fight it, you don't push it away, you don't dissipate it, you just sit with it and feel it, what will happen first is that the urge will get stronger and stronger and stronger. And you might even get to a point where it feels like your whole body or a voice in your mind is screaming at you to relapse. Pay close attention to the emotions and thoughts that you feel here. It might also be more subtle, right? It might be that you break out into tears, but it might also be that you just start feeling like, oh, everything's kind of pointless. What am I doing anyway? I should just give up. So this feeling of hopelessness starts sinking in. But whatever happens, once you sit with the urge and allow it to play out in your body for long enough, is your first hint at the actual underlying issues. So when you start discovering these underlying issues, what do you do about them? How do you actually heal this so that you're no longer addicted and no longer have to fight urges all the time? In some cases, all you need to do is sit with those feelings and let them play out. There might be something there that is just unprocessed emotion. You might just have to spend some time grieving something, being really sad about something, being afraid, letting the fear work its way through you. And if you sit with these difficult emotions long enough, that is actually how your body works them out. This is why I call this going through the urge. You have to go through it. You have to let this stuff happen instead of always trying to run away from it, distract yourself or push it down. It may even be that allowing these difficult things to happen and move through you is always the solution, but it's often easier said than done, especially when it comes to really deep trauma. And this is where other techniques for moving through these and resolving these issues can be really helpful. And of course, this is where therapy can be very helpful. If you find a good therapist who understands this issue, they can help you move through that. And with deeply traumatic things that might be necessary, you might need to get professional help. But I am also a huge advocate for self therapy. You can make a lot of progress by yourself by just introspecting by learning to allow things to happen and play out in your body. Also with exercises like introspective writing, you can make loads and loads of progress with different breathing exercises with meditations, there's lots and lots of tools you can use to make a lot of progress on these things by yourself. And I mentioned that in part, obviously, there's nothing wrong with therapy. But I just know that not everybody can afford therapy. And I don't want anyone to feel like Oh, unless I can pay someone $100 an hour, to walk me through this or listen to my feelings or something, I'm just lost and I'm going to be addicted forever. I have had some really severe issues in my life that I was able to resolve completely through these self therapy tools. So there is hope. If you want to learn some of these tools, make sure you check out the second link in the description where you can join the quit by healing discord community, where I have shared many courses for free on how to do introspective writing, and how to do some really effective shadow work exercises. So there you go. Now you know exactly what your three options are the next time you feel the urge, you can give in, you can dissipate the energy, or you can go through the urge. If you have any questions about this, go ahead and leave a comment below. And if you want to learn more about how to overcome your addictions and replace your bad habits with good habits, watch this video next.